Can something that has been broken be put back together in a way that makes it more beautiful than ever before? Where did that question come from? So this, this is really the central question of the book. Um, we live in a disposable culture. When something breaks, we throw it away and buy a new one. Um, the dilemma or the predicament that that creates is, you know, what do we do with our own broken selves? What do we do with broken relationships? What do we do with broken institutions, broken dreams? Um, you can't throw these things away and, and buy a new one. Um, and so I think this is one of the central questions of our age. And it is something we all struggle with, but I think something that um, we struggle to articulate. Um, the Japanese have a, an art form called uh, kintsugi. Uh, when we break a vase or a, a bowl or something, we, we throw it away by a new one. The Japanese artists gather up these ceramic pieces and they put it back together. Um, only when they put it back together, they don't try to hide the cracks. They mix gold dust with the glue. And, and so when the piece is put back together, it has these, these lines of gold that show exactly where the cracks are but they're beautiful. I mean, these the ceramics are astoundingly beautiful. And so the idea is, you know, the question is, can something that has been devastatingly broken be put together and become more beautiful than ever before? And, and in these ceramics, I believe we discover that the answer is yes. Um, the extension of the question and where the book really goes is, can someone who has been devastatingly broken be healed and become more beautiful and more lovable than ever before? I believe our default answer to that question is no. And I believe that that is creating, you know, massive sadness, anxiety, in us all, um, because it's it's sort of a hopeless proposition, right? And um, and it's and it simply is not true, you know. And 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 that is the conclusion I come to throughout the book um, for myself. And it is the conclusion that I hope the reader will come to is yes, you have been broken in your life. Yes, you have made choices, bad choices. Um, yes, you have been hurt. You've had your heart broken. And as a result of that, you are broken and wounded. But you can be healed. And you can become more beautiful and more lovable than ever before. Um, is, the, is my dream for the reader, is my hope for the reader, is that they can come to that conclusion because I, I think it is a, I mean, an astoundingly liberating conclusion and, and changes the way we look at ourselves forever and changes the way we look at other people in their brokenness, in their woundedness, um, as they deal with their mess. Wow, you made it to the end. I knew somebody would. Thanks for watching. If you look around your life and you look around the world, I think you will discover there's a lot of people who need messages like this filled with hope and inspiration. So please share the message far and wide with everyone in your circle of influence.